Normally, when a nuclear power plant shuts down or the nuclear reaction turns off, systems turn on to cool the reactor fuel and prevent it from having a significant accident. At the Fukushima Daiichi site, those systems failed. So for the next nine months, the nuclear fuel would be too hot and would release significant amounts of radiation. For all of you who live in the New York City area, you can imagine what it's like to have to deal with this by thinking about the Superstorm Sandy that hit New York City uh, recently. During that storm, parts of New York City were left without power for, for weeks. Now imagine multiplying that and taking those weeks and turning those into years. Imagine having to be outside of your home not for weeks while power was restored, but perhaps permanently. That is the tragedy and the human toll that the accident in Fukushima has, has enacted on nearly 100,000 people in Japan. We do have accidents, such as airplane crashes and so on, and sometimes hundreds of people die. But there is no other accident or disaster that would affect 50 million people. Maybe a war, but no other accident could cause such a tragedy. We have to recognize what it's telling us, that severe accidents can and most likely will happen at some point. There will be ways that Mother Nature, that human mistakes and errors, will lead to these kinds of severe accidents at nuclear power plants. Indian Point is 30 miles or so north of Manhattan, much closer to New York City than Fukushima is to Tokyo. There is no practical evacuation plan that could work in that area, not just 10 miles out, 20, 30 miles, 50 miles, you have 19 million people. People can hardly get out of New York City at rush hour time. Can anybody credibly present a scenario where given our transportation lockups and the density of population and the panic that would occur and the lack of any drills, the lack of any practice other than paper models, that that area around Indian Point can be evacuated. In 2008, Entergy brought in 12 experts from around the world, handpicked, their experts. And, and here's what they had to say about the condition of Indian Point. Quote, the physical condition of the plant is visibly deficient the care and maintenance of some of the plant systems and structures do not meet the standards of high-performing plants. And in many ways, Indian Point is actually worse than Fukushima Daiichi was the day before the accident. One operator error, one significant weather event, one earthquake, or one terrorist attack, and all of New York City will face that one bad day. And like Japan, it will be one sad day. If you take the investment in nuclear and put it in solar, renewable, other forms of renewable and conservation, you'd get far more BTUs, far more efficiently, far more safely, and far more benignly for climate change. In the 1960s, the Atomic Energy Commission issued a report which said that a class nine meltdown in one nuclear plant could contaminate, quote, an area the size of Pennsylvania, end quote. Is this the kind of gamble we want to take in order to boil water when there are so many other superior ways to meet our energy needs? There is no other electricity source, no other technology that we have that can create these kinds of economy-wide impacts that can challenge the economy of an entire nation. It's unsafe because of earthquakes, because of human error, because of malfunctioning equipment, because of sabotage. Every nuclear plant is a national security peril. Any nuclear plant that does not have a live drill to make sure that its evacuation plan is anything other than a fantasy plan cannot be allowed to operate.